Yo guys, what is good? This is Joey Holly, and today I'm gonna show you the easiest way to record in FL Studio 21. If you make it through this whole video, you'll not only be able to record vocals today, but towards the end, I'm also gonna be giving you a little lesson on how to sound professional, even if you're a complete beginner, so stay tuned. So the first thing that we wanna do is go up to File, and we're gonna go to New here. This is just gonna ensure that we start from complete scratch, just in case you were toying with things before watching this video. And what we wanna do is come up here to Options, and then go to your Audio Settings. We just wanna make sure that our audio is correctly set up, so that when we record we actually hear something back this will be different for everybody but i myself have a focus right usb asio many of you probably will have the same thing as it's a great interface to begin with but if not just find the name of the specific tool that you're using to record with and depending on your gear you might need to play around with the buffer length here and this just ensures that you can record in real time it's recommended that you're at three milliseconds but six milliseconds doesn't seem to matter for my devices as everything still comes in in real time for me so now what we want to do is we want to get our beat insert and a recording track ready so here for track one i'm just simply going to rename this beat this is where I'm going to drag my beat in. And for track two, you're going to right click this as well. Rename this to vocals. And you're going to right click on it again. You're going to drop down to track mode, audio track, and then choose any of these inserts. I'm going to go with insert two just because this is the second track here and it just makes more sense to my brain. But it doesn't matter which insert you actually pick. Hold on. I know you're excited to start recording, but just consider leaving a like on this video. It helps it to get to more people. And there could be somebody out there really confused on how to record. Thank you so much. Then you want to come to this icon here, go to input one under mono. And of course, make sure that this says your device name and it should because you shouldn't really have any other devices plugged in. And now as I speak, you should be able to hear me through the DAW as well. So make sure that you're hearing yourself back in your headphones. And as I mentioned, if you don't hear yourself in real time, go back to the buffer size up in the options audio and just decrease that until you're hearing yourself back in real time. So for now, I'll turn that off so you guys aren't annoyed hearing me twice. Now go up to the icon up here. This is gonna be your record button. Right click this and choose disarm on stop. This should be checked and not grayed out like the one above. And what this is gonna ensure that every time that you press space bar to pause your recording, that it disarms the recording so that next time you hit the space bar, it doesn't try to record again. Because of course, after we record, we wanna hear ourselves back. Now what we have to do is set the BPM of our instrumental. Now, if you don't know the BPM of your instrumental, you can use something like TuneBat or AudioKeyChain.com. In this, I'll go ahead and use TuneBat. You just Hop on the website, go to key and BPM finder, and then select the file of the instrumental that you're using. It'll go ahead and load in, and it also will give you the key as well. So it's F sharp major and 75 BPM. Now, in order for us to hear our beat, we have to make sure that we click on this playhead here. If you don't, then you'll hear absolutely nothing at all, and you'll probably be confused. Just make sure to put the playhead at the very beginning of the instrumental, and now we'll be able to hear it. For this, I'm gonna go ahead and put the playhead at the hook because I'm gonna show you guys how to make this hook sound professional. Let's start by just recording it with no effects real quick. So now that my playhead's in the right location, make sure that you click this button up here. This is gonna make sure that once you hit space bar, it starts recording and make sure that the track that you want to record on is armed as well, which is gonna be this little red button. All right, so let's hear that back real quick. Boring, right? And that's how you're gonna sound when you go to record. So how about we fix that problem? Something that we provide here at Baywood Audio is called vocal presets and they make you sound professional fast. Let me show you. So if you're new to this whole thing, you may not have Studio Rack. I'm gonna be using what's called Waves presets, but we also have these presets for just stock plugins that you can use in FL without buying a bunch of fancy plugins. And they come with full tutorials on how to use them as well. So if you do get them, they will look different from this, but they'll have the same concept. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna pick one of my presets set packs. I'll go to Waves All-in-One Sauce. I'm going to use Gold Sauce for this because it sounds excellent. And I don't know, let's go with Super Wavy. That sounds cool. Now listen to what happens once I trigger this. Yo, see how much cooler that sounds? So now that I've added this, this is actually on my vocal now. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and play it and then I'll go ahead and tweak these presets to my taste until I like how it sounds. Ugh, so much better. So now let's go ahead and make another track because what we need when it comes to recording, we need layers. So I'll go ahead and make two new tracks here. Make sure you take all of those steps that you had to take previously as well to make sure that you're recording. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add a couple layers because this is really gonna spruce it up a lot. Hey, 
music called the core line It was scary, it got hairy, I was horrified Yeah, she knew that there was more to life The music called the core line It was scary, it got hairy, I was horrified Yeah And the awesome thing is that these presets actually come with back vocal mixes They're called ad-lib presets So let me slap some of these on and show you how it sounds with those layers mixed in The music called the core line It was scary, it got hairy And of course, same thing with these. You want to tweak these, make them fit to the volume that you want them to be. And lastly, there are mastering presets inside of all these packs as well. And mastering is a thing that's vital to making your song sound full, loud, and proud in something that you can play in a car and impress somebody. I'll start with the preset off and I'll turn it on as we go. Boom. With little work, you are able to get that professional sound. Now, I don't condone that you only use presets. You got to make sure that you look up some tutorials and learn about your plugins. But the presets are a nice way for you to actually break everything down, reverse engineer all the plugins that we put in these chains, and grasp an understanding of why we were doing what we did when we created the presets themselves. Again, as I mentioned, I was using Waves presets. But if you don't have those and you just got FL Studio, you can get our stock ones and you can use my code Joey at checkout for 30% off of your entire purchase. And finally, if you guys like this song, it's actually out now. I'll link that below. And if you like songs like this, I actually write for other people. Feel free to hit me up on Air Gigs. I'd love to work with you. That's also linked below. I hope after this, you guys have a full understanding on how to record in FL Studio 21. And if there's anything that I missed, just throw your questions in the comments below. I'm not perfect, so I'm sure I did miss something. And I'll respond to you as soon as I possibly can. I hope this brought you guys some value. Peace.